Now to the eyebrow raising One Nation parody cartoons that are featuring featuring some of Australia's biggest political personalities. Uh, these are really well done. I'm wondering who is behind it. And to help us with that, well, we're going to be joined now by the mastermind behind the hilarious new web miniseries, Pauline Hanson's chief of staff, James Ashby. James, uh, are you responsible for what we've seen in these uh, little cartoons? They're pretty amusing stuff. Well, if there's any cease and desist letters coming, no, I'm not. But, uh, yeah, sadly I am. And <laughs> look, Rita, we had to take a different approach this election. I'm sick and tired of that serious element to all elections. I think we, we get a bit too bogged down. And, you know, there's always weekly commentary that comes from a particular politician. There's yeah, policies that just don't make sense. Uh, so it was just uh, by chance I happened to be on YouTube and I, I caught an episode that this... Melbourne-based company called Stepmates created called Dr Spectrum. And I mulled over it for a bit and I thought to myself, we need to create some parody and some humour that really takes the mickey out of Australian politics. And so uh, those discussions didn't take long before um, we were able to come up with uh, well, a James, proposition to the One Nation the, the executive and that's, it. that's where it went. Okay, but the production values here are quite high. We've seen political ads and satire are attempted and yeah. often it's quite lame, but the production values here are, look very expensive. Who's paying for this and what's the cost in just roundabout figures? Look, it's not cheap, but uh, as we've always believed in One Nation, um, we've got to look after Australian talent and we can foster that. Um, the media were so quick to highlight the fact that some of our talented performers and some of our talented arts uh, industries were suffering through COVID. And we thought, what better way than to employ eight Melbournians, the most locked down city in the world, and, uh, and do this animation from home. And so we're very lucky to have um, Mark and Sebastian from Stepmates on board and their crew um, of eight. So it's, it is, it's remarkable. And, and to think we're doing this here with homegrown talent, it should be fostered. And I'd like to think that their talents can be reflected in uh, the hiring of more of these people. Why not? It's good. It's good for. Okay. Well, let's let's have a let's have a look. Let's. We 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 brought sure. the first episode to to our audience last week. Let's have a look at the latest episode that's online. Right. In order to pay for your campaigns, you'll need money, and you'll get that money from donations. Yes. yes. But remember, any donation above fourteen and a half thousand dollars needs to be disclosed. Oh. Now, break into your groups and brainstorm on fundraising strategy. So we'll hit up the big boys, right? Banks, finance, property developers, big pharma, gas, coal, consultants, casinos, unions. Who else? Barnaby, any ideas? Uh, big pharma? Yeah, yeah, I said big pharma. No, 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 big pharma. Yeah, very nice, Barnaby. But let's talk about where the real money is. The donations we don't disclose. <laughs> oh, but what about that disclosure rule? That disclosure rule is easy to get around. Well, you see, Craig, instead of donating directly to the party, the donor can give to our fundraising entity, who then sends the money to the party, keeping the original donor a complete secret. Or we could just split the donation across our state and federal branches. Don't forget the lunches. Oh, the lunches. Ten grand a head for some lunch and a bit of face time with the big fella. Mmm, delicious. Ah, this is all a bit much, fellas. Ah, uh, what are you going to do, Dob? Have you got a moral objection, you big wimp? Nah, I just can't be buckered with all that work, fellas. I'm going to go sort my own finances out. Reckon you could chuck us 60 million bucks from your campaign? Yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> James Ashby, it's uh, Nicholas Reese here. So, look, that ad talks about political donations. Who has funded this particular ad? Who's donated uh, to help fund these ads and make them? Well, Nick, as you know, no political party can survive without the donations of its supporters. And um, we're a grassroots party. We make no uh, apologies for that. So most of the money has come from uh, the mums and dads out there that support Pauline. 
Um, we've obviously, as a party, had funds that we've been raising in the past as well, that we've been able to make that contribution. So, look, um, we will make all those disclosures as per normal with any political party uh, when the time is uh, required of us. So, look, we'll, we, there's, there's no hidden factor to this. We have used uh, our members' money. We have used the, the fact that we take donations. And I think it's worth it. And, and to be honest with you, Nicholas, we're getting more views than Q&A on the ABC and also the project combined. So I think it's worth it, don't you?